We all know that video is great for grabbing people's attention, but did you know that sales pages that have videos on them convert at a much higher rate than sales pages that just have text and stills? So today I am gonna show you how to create animated scrolling product demos and how to embed them on your Canva sales page to up those conversions and to attract attention. Hi folks, if we haven't met, my name is Wayne. I'm a creative director and a brand designer and I help coaches and creators to up-level their visuals and design. If you are not new to the channel, welcome back. So to be able to create this animated walkthrough or scrolling preview of a site or a page, we're gonna need to start by getting a grab of that page. And I'm gonna show you one of the easiest tools to do that with. Now obviously Mac and Windows have their own built-in tools for taking screen grabs and screen videos and things like that, but I've found that this little Chrome extension is one of the most useful and powerful tools that I've got, and because it's always there in your web browser, you can access it with just one click. So the tool I'm talking about is this tool called Awesome Screen Recorder and Capture. Now it's just a free Chrome extension that you can add to your Chrome browser and it means that it's always there available for you to use if you want to take a screen grab um, including a screen video. Now I'm just going to use my own home page as an example. If I wanted to showcase this website or I wanted to showcase um, the landing page for an app or for my course I could do the same thing. And all I'm going to do is go to the top of the page, I'm going to click on this little awesome screen share icon, and then it will give me a couple of options of how to record this page. I can either capture, which means it grabs a still, and so we can do that from just the visible part, or the full page, in which case it will automatically scroll down on its own and take the entire page as a grab. And we also have the option to record the page. Now if we go to record the page, we can again choose from some options, and we're gonna ask it to just do this tab. We don't need the camera on and we don't need the microphone. And I am literally just going to click start recording. It counts down for a couple of seconds and then I'm just gonna slowly scroll through my page so there is some movement and when people see it on my sales page, it feels like they are getting a preview of what the page looks like. Once I get to the bottom, I'm gonna scroll back up and then I'm going to click on the icon again to stop that recording. And that's it. That's the video that I have now created. I can play it back here to check what it looks like. Now to be able to download it, you can download it in this WebM format, which isn't really useful, or you can upload it to Awesome Screenshot, which has like a dashboard for you when you log in. So to do that, I'm going to click upload and it's going to ask me to sign in with Google. I'm just going to use my Google credentials and sign in. And once I've done that, it takes me to the awesome screenshot dashboard where my video is. And then it's as simple as on the right hand side, clicking download MP4 and it will convert and download the MP4 to your computer. Now that we've got that video, we're going to go over to our Canva sales page. So I'm just going to use the Canva sales page template that I've been creating and I'm gonna go down to the section where I've given a placeholder for you to add in a product demo or some kind of video. And then all we're gonna do in Canva is just upload that video that we just downloaded from Awesome Screen Share, and then we're gonna click and drag it into the Canva frame that I already have here. And you'll see it automatically plays to show you what it looks like, and you have an animated moving scroll of your website or page or even product demo. Now you'll see that the reason I scrolled back to the top at the end of that video is so that when it loops, it starts from the top. So if I hit play again, you'll see it starts from the top and then it runs down to the bottom and then it goes back up to the top. So it's a great way of ensuring that if it loops, it means that it looks natural, like someone has just scrolled back up to the top of the page. So there you are. Now that's embedded in your sales page. If we preview the sales page or Canva website to see what it looks like live, you will see that the video in that device is now embedded and plays beautifully within Canva to bring your product to life. Now, another quick thing just to note, which is great about Canva, is that you can of course add graphics and elements in Canva over the video. So if I wanted to bring in this arrow, just resize it and still have it over the actual video pointing at something on the screen as it plays, I can do that too. And you'll see that 
even if we preview again, that animation stays above the video while the video plays, adding a lot of movement and making a really nice effect that brings it to life. I wanted to show you another way of being able to create this video if you don't have that screen share facility or if you just have grabs of some kind of prototype or product or even if you're just using grabs of a presentation that you have created. And the easiest way to do this is to just create a blank video within Canva and then what you're going to do is you're going to import those grabs. Now I'm going to use the grabs from my own web page again. I've just grabbed each page, page down and taken them, but these could be slides from a presentation as I say, or they could be anything else that you just have stills of that you want to create a scrolling effect with. So what I'm going to first do for the video is just to take the time down to about two and a half seconds per page or per section of the video. And then I'm going to bring my images in starting from the top. And then I'm going to duplicate that page and just add the second page in and continue doing that until I've got all of the pages in. So once I've got all those pages in, um, all I'm going to do is just select all of these pages or slides within this video and then I'm going to click between them and I'm going to choose slide animation or transition and I'm going to use it going up. And you'll see automatically with the preview you can already see that it's creating this kind of effect of a scrolling website. Once I've done that, I'm just going to make sure that it's applied to all of them between each slide. And then if I play this video from the beginning, you'll see that it just shows me a little preview of each page and then scrolls up to the next part of it. Now this is just an easy way of doing the same kind of effect that we did with that other screen share, except creating it from stills. So once you're happy with that, you would just hit share, download and choose MP4 video in Canva. And then once that's downloaded, the process to add it to your sales page is exactly the same as we had before, where you would just go to your sales page and you would then upload that video, click and drag it into that placeholder and you're done. A couple of other things that I just wanted to point out that I thought might be helpful is that if you wanted to create this kind of animated mock-up video um, but you wanted to use it on another web page or for example on your website, you can easily do that within Canva as well. All you would do is in Canva just create a blank video again, go to the elements and insert whatever frame that you wanted to use for the video, make it as big as you want on that page, go to your video uploads, add in the video. If there are white bars like this above, all you can do is just drop in a square black element behind it. In the position tools, make sure that in layers, that is behind the frame and your video is also behind the frame. And now you have a video here embedded. If I hit play, you basically have that animated video within a frame and this itself is just a video mock-up for you to use on your sales page. Then what you would do is just share and export again, and download it as an mp4 video, or if it's very short, what you can do is download it as a GIF. Of course, the other thing to remember is that within Canva, you can use any of the frames or elements or device elements within their library and put the video into that to create some really interesting effects for your website or for your sales page. And it's as simple as dropping the video in, putting it behind the frame and then exporting it as an MP4 or a GIF to use on your website. So that's it from me today, folks. A very quick and easy way for you to create animated mock-ups and walkthroughs to use on your sales page to increase conversions by giving people video interest and showing them what your product is or walking them through what it is so that it really brings them to life for them. If this has been helpful, which I really hope it has, um, please hit the subscribe button below, or hit the like button. It helps small creators like myself immeasurably, and I would really appreciate it. Also, please sign up to my newsletter where I'm going to be sharing more tutorials, more design resources, and also helping people uplevel your visuals and design. Thanks again for joining me. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.